Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Room erupts as California Trump fan warns crowd about what illegals are doing to black community. Black voters in Santa Clarita, California, who support President Trump's illegal immigration policies, have been taking their case to the city council to voice their disdain for California effectively becoming a sanctuary state. One Trump supporter made a viral video of a woman lambasting that city council over the issue. The video was taken in May, but the sentiment is even stronger today there. The unidentified woman speaking in the video describes herself as a Christian, conservative, wife, mom, an African American herself. She says she wants to lead the mass hashtag Blacksit from the Democratic Party. The video was posted to Twitter and went uber viral after that. I have heard this sentiment not only from the black community but from the Hispanic community as well. Either come to America the legal way or don't come at all. The woman wore a red Make America Great Again cap to make her point obvious. She is part of a group of citizens who turned out to speak against California's sanctuary state policies. She was losing her voice, but she didn't mince words over it either. The damage that illegal immigrants in California have done to the black community and others is immense. And it doesn't matter where the illegal immigrants come from. The result is the same. They take jobs and housing from actual Americans. They bring crime and poverty into the cities and wherever they settle. They also bring disease. One of the most emphatic parts of this woman's speech had to do with separating children from parents at the border. She made a huge point over the number of people who have been separated from their families by illegal aliens and how they gotta go to the grave. You tell me how that's fair. It's a good point. Family members who lose loved ones to crimes committed by illegal aliens never get to see them again. But you don't hear that from the left. You also don't hear that of the 12,000 children that have come over the border, 10,000 did so without parents. You also don't hear about how many Americans have been killed by illegal aliens. Where's the justice in that? nowhere to be found. From the Conservative Tribune The black community is most adversely affected by illegal alien activity, the woman hoarsely said. Because when these people, and I don't care if they're Swedish, Mexican, Nigerian, Nicaraguan, Arab, I don't care, when you come here illegally, they don't get trucked into Brentwood. They don't get trucked into Beverly Hills. Hell, they don't even get trucked into the fairly modest upper-class suburb where I live. They get trucked into Watts. Here in California and SoCal, they get trucked into the streets of Crenshaw. The Jungles, Baldwin Village, an underprivileged Los Angeles community. East LA. A lot of black people don't have the privilege that I have, she continued. A lot of black people are already suffering academically. Thus they suffer economically. Thus they suffer in abject poverty and crime. Their schools are beyond a disgrace already, she added. When those schools get pumped with illegal aliens, black students are even more likely to drop out. She pointed out that money had to be spent on Spanish-language textbooks because the illegal alien minors cannot speak the king's English. I, as an American citizen, born and raised in Los Angeles, cannot get a job if I want to do something different than what I do, which is fight for American people, I have to learn two languages, she said. Specifically Spanish. In my own country. You tell me how that's fair. The video first surfaced on Twitter when someone responded to a tweet from MSNBC's Joy Reid. She was trying to stir up outrage over illegal immigration. She got that and much more, but I don't think it was what she had in mind. According to sanctuary policies in California, police cannot inquire about an individual's legal status even after arresting them for having committed a crime. Americans are dreamers too. We're paying for welfare, for Section 8, you costing us our jobs. We're paying for you. The woman stated in the video. Respect Americans. This is America. This is our home and this is our country. The room agreed with her overwhelmingly. Respect Americans. This is America. This is our home and this is our country. The people agreed with this woman, but the city council obviously didn't. Figures. The people who spoke were against Senate Bill 54, which blocks state and local law enforcement agencies from using their resources, whether that be money properties, equipment or personnel, to help with federal immigration enforcement. It also blocks state and local police from cooperating with federal immigration authorities. The black community is most adversely affected by illegal alien activity, she exclaimed. When you come here illegally, they don't get trucked into Brentwood, they don't get trucked into Beverly Hills. They get trucked into Watts, they get trucked into the streets of Crenshaw. Which is exactly right. No wonder she's upset. I don't blame her in the least. Allowing unfettered illegal immigration is destroying California. 
Mexican cartel gangs control the prisons in Los Angeles. Heck, they basically control the streets there now. It has become a degraded, violent area of the country to live in. Black communities are being devastated by this. And yet, all Jerry Brown and California elitists do is raise taxes and bring in more illegal immigrants. It will take the Golden State down eventually. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.